You know, it's been said that I work too much, and I really do. You know, I do the nightly news most nights, or one of the other reporters does. I do the radio show, I do all these interviews. We're going to be here this Sunday with a special Christmas transmission. And I tend to get negative and angry. I know there's a lot of good people at every level of society in America is in a lot of trouble, but we're still the best nation on earth. I've been to a lot of other countries. It's just painful to see this, this globalist, artificial culture being forced into every society and to just see corruption rising and to see people sold on thinking you can't fight it. In my experience, when you fight corruption, it parts like the Red Sea in your own little area, but you've got to fight it. You've got to stand up to it. You've got to walk on faith. I mean, you've got to step forward. You've got to say no. You've got to say, hey, threaten to kill me all you want or do whatever it is. I'm not going to live in fear. And that takes the power away from the enemy. Now, I should be calm. I should just steadfastly face this. But I am an angry person. I can't help it, folks. I've always hated bullies. I've always hated people that hurt little animals. I've all, I'm a big softy. But in that, I am an extremely aggressive person. And it is, it is just, it is torture. It is torture when the families call me every day with their kids being taken. And then I find out it's, it's, it's nine core subsidiaries who run open child kidnapping operations worldwide. And it's even in the mainstream news. And they're running the CPS local. And I know they're a bunch of pervs. And I just, it, 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 it's horrible to see the crime continue. And I guess for the rest of the yuppies and everybody, they just go out and have fun and party. And if something happens to them, their friends don't care about them. It's all fake. It's all real shallow. It's not real. Most of these people aren't real friends. They don't really come through. It, it's, it, it's like delusional. It's, it's not. I'm going to go to your calls. It's just, it, I don't even want to say it shook me up yesterday. But I have passed almost emotional or, or awakening periods in my life. I really it's like a spiritual threshold. And previously, I'd cross them every two or three years and, and would have like this big come to Jesus moment, could really feel it and, and, un, and consciously see the area I'm going into and the responsibilities. And then last night, God just showed me so much and I couldn't even talk. And I do not even feel worthy to be here bringing you this information. And I, it just absolutely brought me to a place I've never been to you know, where God just really says, you want to see the evil? Here it is. Feel it. And to feel what the children are feeling... <laughs> God Almighty. <laughs> Folks, we gotta we gotta get good people to stand up against these people. Uh, God. I probably shouldn't even have done this radio show today because I have this disgusted cover for how I just hate the globalists, but it's more than that. And I, and I just get flippant and angry, but it's because deep down, folks, I can see what they're doing, and I have, we have a responsibility to stop these globalists. Where are the men in this country? Where are the men in this world? What the hell have we become? We just offer our children up to the system with the fluoride and the water and the GMO hurting them. And we let fat perverts grab them at the airport to train them for the pedophile government. And we've just got such a sick society. You know, I, uh, I don't even want to go to calls and everybody will go, oh, Alex, it's all right. I and I don't even, this is quite the spectacle. I'll, I'll just tell you this, folks, if you're not upset yet, like the bumper sticker says, you're not paying attention. I grieve for where this country's going to go. This country's going to be destroyed. The globalists, if they have their way, are going to kill millions of people.
They're going to run the same type of stuff they did in the Soviet Russia when they broke all the Christian farmers and killed them and starved them and stuff. So what they're setting up, I've seen the attack profile, we got all the documents. And because we're a decadent nation who's been beguiled and put into a trance, go ahead and get the interview with Fine. I'm going to air that now. Then I'll go to my guest later. It is unspeakably bad what's going to happen, but it's, it's, it's the law of the universe. If we stand by and let third world people be killed and think it's funny and make jokes about it and think it's sexy to torture people and sexy to have no rights or due process and all these soft, cowardly, domesticated people who are just victims of their own you know, culture sit there and go, well, I have nothing to hide, so what if they can secretly arrest me? It, they, it, it, it is unspeakable where we're going to go. Yeah, cut off my intro. Uh, we have it right up to fine. Yeah, this is from the nightly news last night. We'll play this in this segment. Go to break and play a little bit more of it. It's like 30 minutes long. It's up at prisonplanet.tv, and it's on the YouTube channel for everybody. You know, I want to come here on the air and, and give you a heartfelt, true, deep analysis. And what happens is I read all these hundreds of news articles and have all this information and then just get so angry by the time I get on air that most of the time I can't even get to much of it because it's so much crazier than I can even say. And we're so accustomed to putting up with evil now. And I just see men and women who've been made weak and, 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 and rendered broke back. And I just, and then the evil just runs wild and does whatever it wants. Who will stand up against the wicked ones? Who will stand up for the children? Who will stand up for the innocents and the widows? Who? Where are you? What is wrong with you as men out there, as police, to hear how almost the entire Oklahoma City Department knows the government the feds blew it up and they're all scared. What in earth has we've turned into? A demonic country. A demonic world. And if you think things are bad now, we're going over the edge into the abyss right now. And all of you trying to take care of yourselves, all of you only worried about your ego and how you look and what's going on, you're afraid of what your neighbors say. Don't you get when everybody goes along with the evil thinking they'll be left alone? That's what lets the evil take over. Don't you understand that? I got some ocean property in Arizona. Well, CBS News, after a week of trying to imply that um, Ron Paul wears Hitler underwear and is evil because he comes on this show. Oh, yeah, hundreds of articles a day. Uh, Ron Paul's gone up in the polls. And so they're asking the question, Ron Paul, the new Teflon candidate. And that's what they're going to do, ladies and gentlemen. They're going to just keep throwing mud, made up garbage and exaggerated and twisted news. Because they can't beat him in Iowa because it's an actual real voting system where it's done by hand votes and tallied in front of everybody. Now, when he hits black box New Hampshire, that's going to be a different story. But imagine all of Ron Paul's patriotic, anti-New World Order information is now front and center. Resistance is victory.